How does Pinterest marketing work for e-commerce sites? Can you connect your Shopify store and Pinterest? And how you can start profitably selling on Pinterest? I will answer all these questions and more in today's video. Hi, I'm Anastasia of AnastasiaBlogger.com. I'm a Pinterest marketing expert and if you sign up for my channel, you will get fresh and valuable Pinterest tips every Thursday. So click on subscribe and that bell button to get notifications. And now let's move on to your questions. So why am I so confident that Pinterest is a great place to promote products for e-commerce sites? Well, just look at these quick stats to show you how strong is the buyer intent on Pinterest. 90% of weekly users are looking on Pinterest to make purchasing decisions. This may include immediate purchases and planning for later purchases. 55% of users said that they log in to Pinterest specifically to find products. That's more than half of all the user base. And 50% of Pinterest users say that they buy something after seeing a promoted pin, meaning a Pinterest ad. And based on these factors, Pinterest is about four times more effective at generating sales than other social media platforms. If you have been in e-commerce or dropshipping business for a while now, you probably know that most of the marketers would recommend you Facebook ads. But the hard part about Facebook ads nowadays is that it's too much competition there. So Facebook ads became too expensive, especially for beginners in the industry. And if we compare Pinterest and Instagram, just the fact that every pin image on Pinterest is clickable and can be linked to your store or directly to the product page, just this fact itself makes Pinterest so much more powerful as a traffic source compared to Instagram, where you can have maximum one link to the store in your bio and that's it. Another reason you should be on Pinterest is because of the half-life of a pin. It's so much longer than an average post duration on other social media platforms, like Instagram or Twitter, for example. If you get traffic from your post on these platforms, it will last for a few hours, perhaps maximum one day. Your pins on Pinterest can bring you traffic for many months and for some pins even for years. This especially applies to seasonal products because Pinterest tends to revive old viral pins every year when the season comes. I've seen this a lot with my Halloween and Thanksgiving pins. You can see on this screenshot that I'm getting traffic from the same post, um, the same pins basically get are getting viral year after year at the same time and I hope to get traffic again, the same viral um, spike of traffic this year in around October and November. So what are the best e-commerce platforms you can use with Pinterest? I will start with Etsy because it's one of the first platforms Pinterest created integration with and moreover Etsy is the only platform of its kind for which Pinterest created a simple verification process in your account. To connect your Pinterest account with Etsy and start seeing product pins, you don't even need to install any code on your store. You can simply verify your Etsy shop by just going to your settings and then clicking to claim. And here you will say verification for Etsy. When you click here, the browser will simply ask you to log into your Etsy account. And when you do it, boom, your verification is um, complete and you, you're going to start seeing your uh, rich pins for, for this Etsy product pins. If you're not sure what a product pin is, let me just show you a few examples. So if we click um, and on this pin, it's an, a regular pin that goes to an, a post on their site. And this is called article type of pin. It's also a rich pin, but it's an article pin because it goes to an article. And if you go back, you will see here some product pins. They will have this icon on the left. And when you click on a product pin, it always has a price tag. It also brings from the site, from the product page, it brings the title of the product and the description. But the main difference of the, between the product pin and article pin is that product pins 
and they bring the information about the price of this product. Here is a perfect example of an Etsy product pin. You can see that the link goes to an Etsy store and you have here all the information that, that is displayed on the Etsy product page. One side note here, to see the settings that I'm showing you about claiming your Etsy store, you must have a business account on Pinterest. If you don't know what I'm talking about and how to set up a business account, I already published a video with all the details about it on my channel. I will give you a link to that video in the info icon, it will be in the top right corner and also I will duplicate that link in the description below this video. So basically Pinterest just connects Etsy account as easy as your YouTube or Instagram account. And if you have an Etsy store and also a self-hosted um, website, you can actually verify both of them on the same Pinterest business account. So if I had a, an Etsy store, I could claim it here and I already claimed my blog on this, on this Pinterest profile. Another platform I get a lot of questions about is Shopify. Yes, you can and you should verify your Shopify store on Pinterest. And it's really easy because Shopify and Pinterest apparently work together to make this integration seamless on the user side. To verify your domain on Pinterest, you will just need to follow this simple instruction provided by Shopify official site, which helps you verify your store on any third-party services, including Pinterest and Google Webmaster tools. Let me just show you on my test Pinterest account. So you will just go back to your settings over here and then you will get to this claim uh, tab. And from here you can just, I'm just putting some somedomain.com and I will click claim. So what happens is, so you need to select add HTML tag and here it will show you a meta tag which you need to paste into your head section of the site. Now let's go back to the instruction on Shopify help center and you can probably pause this video here if you want to check the steps or maybe if you watch this video later again when you actually are going through this process you can pause the video so you can uh, see the exact steps and follow them. So the first step is you go to Shopify admin and from there you go to online store and then uh, choose themes, the option themes. And there you will find the theme you want to edit and then click actions and choose edit code. And then in the layout section you will click theme.liquid to open the file in the online code editor. And then you just need to copy the meta tag that I was just showing you on your Pinterest account and paste it on a blank line directly below the opening head tag. And then you just need to click save. Make sure you don't delete anything because if you save these changes with the things that you um, erased accidentally, it will be really hard to fix it. And this is it. Your store should be verified within 24 hours by Pinterest probably even faster. And so you will be able to use rich pins. In our case, we are talking about e-commerce site, so it's product pins. I already showed you how product pin looks, uh, pins look, and you will see these product pins automatically, because like I mentioned, Shopify and Pinterest made this integration really easy on the and smooth on the user side. Shopify is not the only platform to make product pins available. You can also use Big Commerce or Magento and some other platforms, but I cannot go into all the details instructions like I showed you for Shopify in this video. And I will not show you the website verification for each of these platforms, but you will have to use their help centers or their support pages if you cannot figure out uh, for your platform how to do it so easily as I showed you on Shopify. For example, this is the big commerce help center and they have a detailed uh, page about um, using Pinterest and verifying your site on Pinterest. Now, how do you know if your product will be easy to sell on Pinterest? It is known that about 80% of all Pinterest users are female audience, so keep that in mind. But at the same time, the recent stats show that in the last 4-5 or five years, more men are joining Pinterest. So the demographic on this platform is changing slowly but steadily. 
some of the niches which have the largest audience on Pinterest based on the numbers uh, of the followers for each topic are home decor, fashion, health, weight loss. Also anything holiday related like Christmas gift ideas, Mother's Day gift uh, ideas, etc. All this works great on Pinterest because people like to use this platform for planning their holiday spending in advance. If you're not sure if Pinterest would work for your niche, ask me in the comments below and I will let you know what I think about your niche and whether it might work with Pinterest. If you decide to try Pinterest traffic for your store, I don't recommend starting it if you don't have the time to invest into learning about Pinterest platform. Pins on Pinterest can bring you traffic for months or even years, like I mentioned earlier in this video, but in order for them to work this way, you need to have a proven strategy and you have to use Pinterest SEO, search engine optimization, to rank your pins high in search results. So that your pins will be shown to targeted audience of people who actually searched for the products you are selling. You can dive deep into all of this in my Pinterest SEO traffic course. I will give you a link in the description below this video. Now let me give you some tips for e-commerce sites that will help you see great success with Pinterest traffic. So the first tip is make sure the images you save from your shop are vertical and worthy. If you simply save any small or horizontal product images from your shop and hope that traffic will come from Pinterest, unfortunately it will not work for you. Every platform has its rules and its own recomm recommended formats for content. On Pinterest, your images have to be between 2 to 3 and 1 to 2 image ratio. So these are tall pins and the minimum size should be 600 by 900 pixels. So yes, you might have to create images specifically for Pinterest, or at least you might need to optimize your original product images to fit the ideal size for this platform. But the work you're going to invest into this, it really will be worth it. Another tip would be to create multiple pins for each landing page on your site or each product page. So creating between 5 or even 10 pins that lead back to the same product page, you're um, creating more fresh content for Pinterest, more original content, and that's what Pinterest wants. Every image you create is a new piece of content for Pinterest even if it leads to the same product page. So it's always worth creating new pins for your pages. Another unexpected tip for e-commerce shops would be attach a simple blog to your store and drive additional traffic from Pinterest. So you're going to drive traffic to your blog and then from your blog users will go to your product pages. And when this process happens, when they come to a project a product page, this is already a warm audience. If you are on Shopify, you can actually create a blog right on the same domain as your store because Shopify has this blogging functionality as well. When you send users directly to your product pages, you're working with cold audience, remember that. I'm not saying you shouldn't ever work with cold audiences, but you know that it's harder to convert those users into customers. If you present your products in a blog post, that shows how the customer will benefit from your product and in the form of a story or maybe a roundup with a list of your products, you're helping to build this trust and engagement with your audience before you start selling them something. My next tip would be test promoted pins, also called Pinterest ads, to promote your products. And one of the reasons why you can get a lot of traffic from promoted pins is because when someone clicks on those pins, they immediately land on your product page. Let's, let me show you the difference between a promoted pin and a regular pin. So this is a promoted pin because that's what Pinterest says, promoted by Tailwind team. And this is a regular pin. When I click on a regular pin, what happens is that the pin opens and then to go to the site, I will need to click second time. What happens with a, a promoted pin, when I click on the pin, it doesn't open the pin in a bigger size, it just shows me, it just sends me to the landing page. And Pinterest ads are still very affordable compared to ads on Facebook or Instagram. You can get clicks for as low as 10 cents or even less if you have high click-through rates. I published a more detailed video about Pinterest ads on my channel 
As usual, I will give you a link to that video at the top right corner of the screen in the info icon and also I will duplicate this link in the description below this video. And of course, Pinterest SEO. This stuff really matters. Don't even try saving pins mindlessly and hope that Pinterest will just send you traffic to the store. You have to add keywords to your pin descriptions, product tiles and descriptions. You have to work on optimization of your Pinterest boards, etc. But I already told you about my Pinterest SEO traffic course. You will get in there everything you need to know to successfully drive traffic to your store with organic pins. And if you have any questions about Pinterest, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments below this video. Any comments help YouTube algorithm rank the videos higher and show them to more people. And when my videos are seen more often, it gives me motivation to keep going and creating more useful content about Pinterest marketing and sharing them on my channel for free. And see you in the next videos.